Welcome to the The Sky Tech Nerd U, the latest news from around the world. Imagine a whisper, a faint signal, traveling for more than a day at the speed of light to reach us. This is the voice of Voyager 1, the most distant object ever made by human hands. Launched in 1977, it has journeyed for nearly half a century, now sailing through the vast, dark expanse between the stars. The Voyager probes are our silent ambassadors to the galaxy. They continue to send back data from interstellar space, a region no other probe has reached. But it became a journey of self-discovery, forcing us to look back at our own world. Yet, we listen for that final whisper from the edge of our solar system. The Voyager probes are more than just robotic explorers, they are extensions of our senses and dreams carrying a piece of humanity into the eternal night. The Voyager missions were made possible by a rare, once in 176 year alignment of the outer planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune lined up so a single spacecraft could visit them all. This allowed for gravity assists, a cosmic slingshot using a planet's gravity to accelerate and change course. Without this alignment, a journey to Neptune would have taken decades longer. NASA engineers seized the opportunity, designing robust probes to survive Jupiter's radiation and the cold of deep space. The trajectories were calculated with precision, a cosmic billiard shot, using one planet to aim for the next. Voyager 2 launched first on August 20, 1977, on a path to visit all four gas giants. Voyager 1 followed on September 5, 1977, on a faster path to study Jupiter, Saturn, and especially Titan. This alignment was a fleeting gift from the cosmos, a moment when the heavens aligned and we were ready. Our ability to recognize and capitalize on this moment speaks to our scientific progress. We learn to read the rhythms of the solar system and use entire planets to steer our ships. The Voyager missions are a perfect synergy of human ingenuity and cosmic mechanics. They represent a moment when we reached for the stars and caught a ride. The grand tour was underway. Each Voyager carries a golden phonograph record, a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. It's humanity's greeting to any extraterrestrial civilization that might find our silent probe. The record, led by Carl Sagan's team, is a time capsule of Earth's diversity. It holds 115 images, scientific diagrams, human anatomy, scenes of nature, and people from many cultures. The audio begins with greetings in 55 languages, followed by the sounds of our planet, a baby's cry, wind, rain, whales, and a rocket launch. Music spans cultures and eras, from Bach to Chuck Berry, Peruvian panpipes to Navajo chants. The record is an offering of our art, science, and emotion, a present from a small distant world. Its cover is an instruction manual with diagrams showing how to play it, and a map of our sun's location. It even includes a diagram of the hydrogen atom, the universe's most common element. This record is our attempt at communication across space and time. It may drift for billions of years, a symbol of hope that someday, we will not be alone. The golden record is our cosmic greeting card, a message of who we are, sent into the unknown. In 1979, the Voyager probes arrived at Jupiter and sent back the first detailed images of the gas giant. We saw the great red spot as a swirling storm larger than Earth, intricate cloud bands, and lightning in its dense atmosphere. Jupiter's moons were just as fascinating. Voyager 1 discovered active volcanoes on Io, the first seen beyond Earth. Europa's icy surface hinted at a vast ocean beneath, making it a prime candidate for extraterrestrial life. Two years later the probes reached Saturn, revealing its magnificent rings, thousands of ringlets, not solid bands. They found shepherd moons, tiny satellites that keep the rings in line and mysterious spoke-like features. Voyager 1's close encounter with Titan revealed a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere, denser than Earth's, hiding a world where methane might flow like water. This glimpse of Titan inspired future missions like Cassini-Huygens. The Voyager tour transformed distant points of light into complex, vibrant worlds. Jupiter and Saturn became real places, each with its own story. The discoveries changed our understanding of the solar system. The images and data continue to inspire. Voyager turned the unknown into the unforgettable. Our cosmic neighborhood was never the same. The journey pressed on, deeper into the dark. After Saturn, Voyager 1 headed out of the solar system, but Voyager 2 continued its grand tour. In 1986, it reached Uranus, our only close-up look at the ice giant. Uranus, tilted on its side, has bizarre seasons and a pale blue-green appearance. Voyager 2 discovered 11 new moons, two new rings, and a magnetic field tilted nearly 60 degrees from its axis, 
the data hinted at a slushy ocean deep within. In 1989, Voyager 2 arrived at Neptune, a vibrant blue world with powerful storms and the fastest winds in the solar system. It discovered the great dark spot and clocked winds over 2,000 kilometers per hour. Neptune's moon Triton revealed geysers erupting nitrogen into space, one of the few geologically active bodies we've seen. After Neptune and Triton, Voyager 2's planetary mission was complete. It had rewritten our understanding of the outer solar system. The grand tour had reached its end but the journey continued. After their planetary encounters, the Voyagers embarked on a new mission to reach the edge of our solar system and enter interstellar space. The sun's solar wind creates a protective bubble, the heliosphere, around our solar system. The outer edge, the heliopause, is where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. For years, the Voyagers measured the solar wind as it slowed and became turbulent. In 2012, Voyager 1 detected a dramatic change. Solar particles dropped, cosmic rays surged. It had crossed the heliopause, after 35 years it entered interstellar space. Voyager 2 followed in 2018 providing crucial data from a different location. Its instruments measured denser, colder plasma outside the heliosphere. For the first time, we had a direct sample of the stuff between the stars. The Voyagers are now our scouts in this new frontier, measuring magnetic fields, plasma, and cosmic rays. Their data helps us understand the environment our solar system travels through. The crossing of the heliopause was a monumental achievement. The Voyagers opened a new chapter in exploration. The Voyager probes are now old, their power sources slowly fading. Each year, their radioisotope generators produce less electricity. Engineers have been shutting down instruments one by one to extend the mission. Soon, the last scientific instruments will go silent. After that, only a faint beacon will remain, until even that fades away. By the mid-2030s, the Voyagers will fall silent forever, but their journey will continue. Drifting through the Milky Way at over 15 kilometers per second, it would take 40,000 years to reach the nearest star. The Voyagers will outlast our planet, maybe even our species, cosmic fossils carrying the golden record. Their silence will mark the end of an era, but not the end of their story. For nearly half a century, they've changed our view of the cosmos. Their data will fuel discoveries for decades. The Voyagers become timeless monuments to human curiosity. In 1990, as Voyager 1 was leaving the solar system, it turned back for one last look. At Carl Sagan's request, it photographed Earth from 6 billion kilometers away a tiny point of light, a pale blue dot. Suspended in a sunbeam, our planet appeared as a mote of dust in the vast dark. This image is a humbling lesson in perspective. All of human history has unfolded on that tiny dot. The image forces us to confront our own significance and the fragility of our world. Voyager's greatest legacy is this shift in perspective. By exploring other worlds, it helped us understand our own. Earth is a rare, precious jewel in a universe that is mostly cold and empty. The pale blue dot is a call to cherish and protect our home. On that dot, we are all in this together. The exploration of space enhances the importance of our world. Voyager reminds us to be better stewards of the only home we have. The Voyager probes are now humanity's vanguard in the galaxy, the embodiment of our outward reach. They have traveled farther and lasted longer than anyone imagined, a triumph of engineering and curiosity. Their discoveries revolutionized planetary science, volcanoes on Io, oceans on Europa, Saturn's rings, Neptune's storms. They provided our only close-up data for Uranus and Neptune and now, our first direct measurements of interstellar space. This knowledge reshaped our understanding of the solar system and our place within it. The golden record, the pale blue dot, and the mission's audacity have captured the public imagination. The Voyagers are more than scientific instruments, they are cultural artifacts, carrying a message of who we were. They are our silent ambassadors, carrying our story into the cosmic night. As the Voyagers continue their endless journey, they leave us with a sense of our own potential. They prove we can achieve extraordinary things when we work together. Their journey is a mirror reflecting our aspirations. As their final whispers fade, we are left to ponder, having taken this first step into the galaxy. Where do we go from here? The legacy of Voyager is not just what it discovered but what it inspired. Our journey into the stars has only just begun.